Now I've got my animated background. What I'm going to do is actually get some fish on here. So let's choose from the library. If I click on animals, it should give me a choice of pre-drawn fish. Obviously, ideally, we'd hopefully get the children drawing their own. That fish is a little bit large. Let's shrink him down. Now this is supposed to be a screensaver, so it's supposed to be running automatically. Um, I will have a, a green flag event on my fish um, to indicate when it's going to start, and I'm going to use a forever loop. And what I'd like him to do is to keep walking forward. Um, there is a crucial thing though. If I press play right now, when he gets to the edge, let's see what happens. He gets stuck. So I'm going to put on if on edge bounce and let's see what happens now. There's my fish moving backwards and forwards across the screen. A couple of problems. Firstly, he's a bit too fast and secondly, he turns upside down. So let's use the little blue eye and change the rotation style. And let's change him so he's only moving two steps. Let's hit the green now and see what happens. Brilliant. Again, things that we could do now to, to make it a bit more interesting. We could actually put an additional fish costume on here. And animate perhaps a bubble appearing or a mouth opening or similar. Um, and to make this fish tank a little bit more populated, let's duplicate the fish. Let's make this one a little bit bigger or smaller. Let's go for smaller. Let's make him move four steps. Again, I've got a couple of fish now. Um, we could also potentially do a crab at the bottom whose pincers open and close. Um, let's quickly just put in another sprite from the library. Um, and let's go to animals. We could also do something like a boat on the surface with an anchor that comes down. There's our crab. Let's add the crab and put Tim perhaps down at the bottom and shrink him down a little bit. Okay, my crab has actually already got two costumes. Pins is opened and closed. So on the scripts, what we could actually then do is let's look for the green flag. Let's look for the forever loop. And again, just like the stage, what we're going to do is go to next costume with a wait of a, a second between. Other interesting things that we could do, we could actually put some sound effects to go with our fish, some bubble sounds or similar. Um, and you could really use your imagination with this to come up with something really creative. Let's just put it in full screen to enjoy the whole experience for a moment.